hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about what i do as a software engineer um before i go on i'd like to welcome you if you're visiting my channel for the first time welcome and if you're returning to this channel welcome back and thank you for watching my video again i appreciate it before i go i would also like to say please subscribe if you're here to subscribe to this channel like the video as well it helps with the algorithm and please guys please drop your comments i know some of you like i feel like a lot of people that watch these videos are introverts so they will have something to say but they will just you know keep it inside their chest please if you're one of those people i am begging in the name of god please drop a comment for me in the comment section you know i would like to hear you know i would like to get into the heads of my the people that watch this video you know listen i mean see listen read what you have to say you know know what's going on in your head in that pretty little head of yours <laughs> okay maybe it's not little maybe it's big but you get the point i would like to know what's going on basically so please drop a comment for me in the comment section all right so I know a lot of you see, you know, day in life of software engineers. Everybody all around licking ice cream and you know enjoying their lives. I don't know which engineers are doing that one, but me, I don't used to do all those things because I'm a hard worker. You know, I work very hard. I write code all day from morning to night. In fact, sometimes I don't eat. You know, actually, I'm just kidding. But the point is, a lot of those um day in the life videos are quite unrealistic because um that's not the typical day for a software engineer there are days like that where you don't have a lot going on and so you get to do you know a lot of other things besides work but a typical <laughs> day in the life of you know a software engineer is you actually doing more of code especially if you are you know not an engineer manager or something like that so yeah i'm going to be talking about what my day looks like and so stay tuned and listen to all i have to say <laughs> so first of all i build web applications and typically i i know how to build both front end and back end side of web applications so you can't call me a full stack engineer however in this past you know in a couple of the last few years i've been getting a lot of front end roles like it's like the are pushing me they are chasing me i don't know come for this front end rule come for this front so i end up you know getting for the most part of my career at least i've been working a lot on the front end so i've built huge projects and small projects as well with um react angular and most recently Vue, right Vue js and that is what i am currently working on right now so I also have to mention that I have been building products both for businesses and consumers. So B2B and, you know, B2C products, right? And so my team, um, and of course by my team, I mean both team, I am the team I'm currently working on or working with right now and the teams I've worked with in the past. Of course, there are slight differences in how, you know, the teams work, but the routine is generally almost the same right for all the companies at least what a software engineer or a full-time software engineer would do is almost the same in all the companies so for my own my you know me the hard worker i'm going to be sharing my story with you you know the things i do as a good software engineer you know for the most part of my day so for example let's say my company has this app right that they want to build basically they're going to relay the business requirements to the project manager so the project manager takes all of these features that we need to build and you know they get they get that information now the product designer would you know look at all those requirements that are needed for the application and then they will start to build the ui you know how the app will look how the users you know the experience of the user how it will feel to them you know when they're using it the exact pretty much the entire flow of the app you know mock-ups and things like that is what the product designer will do now after these guys have done these things <laughs> the project manager will call for the software engineers 
we the amazing people in the company that get the magic done right the software engineers you know we get together alongside with the product designer and then we look at what the stories are right we look at what the requirements are right and we convert these requirements to technical stories now a technical story is typically a project management terminology for features right so we create stories out of this business requirement so we can have stories you know close we can have as many as 20 30 stories depending on how huge the um, project you know is or what needs to be done right so basically we do that and then we create the stories we look at what is required for each of the stories what needs to be done before what you know what needs to be maybe which story is so complex and needs to be broken down into smaller stories basically we just look at all those things we also look at the designs if there's anything with the design that needs to be changed as well that is the point where we discuss that and talk about it so after doing all these things you know deliberating hey you know doing all those things we now get to work the magic makers that is me and the other software engineers no team right we the magic makers get to work we take these technical stories and we convert them to you know we basically bring them to life like i i just can you know sometimes i think about what we do and i'm like god do these people actually value me so much like actually bring things thoughts that are in people's head and i bring them to life right like you guys need to place more value on me anyway basically we take these stories and we convert them you know so we start to build out these features using whatever languages we're currently using or whatever technical stack we are using in the company so i would typical day for me i get to work i look at the jira but the jira is basically a, a project management tool that has all the stories all the technical stories that need to be worked on i look at either stories that have been picked by myself or stories that have you know been assigned to me i start to work on a story at a time so whichever story has the highest priority i pick it up work on it write tests to make sure that whatever functionality i've built is working and then i create a pr for that story now a pr is basically is known as a pull request right and what it simply means is i am um, you know submitting my code to be reviewed by other members of the team before it is now merged with the code base right so other members of the team take a look at the code and be sure that it passes you know it meets the acceptance criteria it's um written properly there are no issues with it basically and if there are any corrections if there are any if there are better ways that it can be done suggestions are made in you know on my pull request right so once all that is good and everybody's fine with it we merge it to the code base so my code has now been added to the code base and the product now has an update i.e my code right so basically once i do this i pick up another story and i do the same thing and i do the same thing with the new story now um as a software engineer i don't just go around picking stories that's not all i do like all day i do other things as well i.e i also look at other engineers code right i review the approval request as well make suggestions you know make additions if necessary corrections on their code test it to be sure it works besides that i also attend stand-ups and so basically stand-ups for software engineers or um folks in engineering teams generally are meetings that you attend where everybody gives updates on what they are doing so i give an update on what i've been doing for the past 24 hours and what i'll be doing in the next 24 hours right technically it's eight hours because <laughs> i'm only going to be working for eight hours of the day but basically i give those updates so if there's anybody on the team that can support me or even there's anybody that i can support on the team that is where we find that out during those stand-ups so we basically get a hang of what everyone is doing what everyone is up to and we get to work right and of course stand-ups can vary for different teams some people do it every day some people do it you know every other day some people do it on slack some people do it you know in person as video call you know so it depends on your team on what your team is comfortable with so besides this i also fix bugs right so if there's any problem with the application 
um, I also fix those bugs as a software engineer. It's my duty to do that. And it's also my duty to identify parts of the code that need to be improved. So if it's a performance issue, if it's a security issue, if it's just that the code needs to be more elegant, I it's my duty to identify that and fix it, right? Also, there are times where things take it downward, like things don't go right. Maybe the client has asked for something before and they change their mind, right? They want something totally different. As software engineers, what this also means for us is that we might have to do a rewrite of our code or a complete <laughs> overhaul, basically throughout whatever we have, you know, before and then write something totally new. So this is something that comes up sometimes depending on the kind of team you're working on. So as a senior engineer, Besides doing this, I also get to support like junior engineers on the team. So if they're having difficulty implementing a feature or fixing bugs, you know, whatever it is, um, part of my role is to also provide support for them as well. Also, what this means is for me or what this means for me is that I get to take part in teams where core technical decisions are made, decisions regarding the design and architecture of, you know, of our technical team basically whatever or the project right i get to take part in those decisions and you know discuss what our um thoughts are regarding those areas in addition depending on the team i'm in i'm also involved in um interviewing uh software engineers also that are going to be hired right or that are potentially going to be hired to join the team what else do I do besides, you know, just being awesome? And some days taking ice cream like those other software engineers, <laughs> you know, post their day in the live videos. Um, I think that's pretty much what I do. Um, there are some days where I have more meetings and so I don't code as much. I could be coding for maybe one to three hours out of the eight hours. And there are some other days where I don't have as many meetings and so I spend more of my time coding. And providing support and fixing bugs um, and maintaining the code base, you know. So this is typically how, you know, my life as a software engineer is. This is what I do as a software engineer. And I hope you learned something from it. And if you are, you know, you're about to become a software engineer, this is most likely close to what you're going to be doing when you join the team. So. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.